how is everyone uh, I come from Kenya and in Kenya we uh, one of our common languages is Kiswahili and how we greet people in Kiswahili is not jambo that's how we know you're a tourist if you're in Kenya and you're saying jambo so how we do it we say habari yako that is also a bit formal so you can also say sasa and if someone tells you sasa you tell them fiti sana or mambo and you say poa that's how we greet each other in a more casual and less formal way in in, in kenya um i thank god for an opportunity to share this video with you uh so uh i i, I thank god for for this opportunity actually and you know it's it's amazing how he teaches me many things he teaches you many things in the various uh, places you go to church the people he brings our way our family members our spouses our friends our children so uh, one of the things that i feel convicted to do this year is to just change the way we just go through the bible um if you can remember we did a lot of uh, looking at the life of Abraham because of the book of Genesis that we were going through and we got to the point where the angels had visited Abraham and Sarah in Genesis chapter 18 all the way up to verse 14 where God asked is there anything too difficult for me and um, when, when I look back I, I I believe we have grown in in our knowledge of the world and we have been challenged to wait on God but I also believe that God wants us to do much more and, and learn much more. And one of the things that I'm convicted is that God wants us to start looking for him. In, in every single story, every single passage of the Bible, God is revealing himself to us. So let us look for him. And there's this verse in, in um, Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 13. Let me just read it for you. I'll read it for you, for you from my NIV version. Jeremiah chapter 20, 29, verse 14, verse 13, sorry. Actually, 13 and 14 work very well. It says... You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. I will be found by you, declares the Lord, and will bring you back from captivity. I will gather you from all the nations and places I have, I have punished you, declares the Lord, and will bring you back to the place from which I carried you into exile. And verse 13 is my prayer for us this year. And we will seek the Lord and he says, if we seek him, we we'll find him. So I want us to, like, literally seek him, start digging out and finding out who is this God every time we go through scriptures. And that is, um, that is one of the introductions I wanted to do this year and remind us that this year is about seeking God. Um, seasons will be there. Circumstances will be there. This world is a fallen world that's why all these things happen and they will happen to us jesus experienced them and he was the son of god how much more we who are of this world but what i believe is um when we seek god it will turn our view of life it will turn our eyes from feeling helpless in every situation because we'll start seeing God and his power and his loving nature and his immense mercy. And as we continue to see him, I believe as we continue seeking him, as he continues uh, revealing himself to us, I believe that we are going to start seeing his fruit in us. We are going to start seeing us resembling our father. And I think that is a beautiful prayer for us. I believe that is a beautiful, beautiful outcome of uh, this journey together that I would really want us to have. So God bless you so much and um, let's look forward to a time of just delving in scriptures and just, you know, going in there 
to look for him going in there to seek and just see him paint his picture of who he is he, he is and not just uh, uh, build images in our heads but to allow him to show himself strong mighty powerful faithful and not just in snippets here and there but as we just go through every place we see this side of god that side of god and as we behold him i'm sure we're going to be changed and transformed and be more like him happy happy new year full of god full of seeking god full of seeking and finding god and as he's already called us and told us seek me then uh, what a beautiful thing to do um, than to seek him in obedience to his word and in anticipation of who he really is and how his knowledge of um, our knowledge of him will affect our lives and to change our lives and just I don't know I'm amazed I'm looking forward I, I can't wait so I hope you're also excited as we journey together God bless you so much even as we I also desire to have many more people come and uh, share with us their stories and and point us and show us how to seek God more how to hear him how to see him how to to not miss him when he's speaking to us okay Happy journey, and happy year, happy year, a happy year full of joy in every season as we turn our eyes from everything else we had laid our eyes on, from our jobs, our marriages, our families, our education, our careers, our monies, uh, our plans, and turning our eyes now to God and allowing him to set his eyes on all these other things that we, we have, that he has given us. God bless you so much. And hey, why don't you share and invite someone else to come and join us and journey with us and leave your comments and continue showing us that the other things that God is revealing himself to you about so that we can all grow and reach into each other and become more God-focused, more Christ-centered and more like him together. Thank you so much. God bless you so much. Bye.